Here's the field, ninth race, pacing Stallions and Gildings, racing one mile, purse $2,000. Field of nine, 10 minutes until post. Number one, Park and Mark, How about Jerome Grogan of Cincinnati, Calvin Wright, the trainer driver. Number two, Crown Time Rocky, owned by Mike Edder of Middletown. Down to as the trainer. Drivers change to Dave Miller. Miller. Three, Kenny Brook, owned by Charles French of Lebanon. Mary Coven Train. Sam Coven Drives. Number four, Volunteer George. Owned by Carl Smith of Washington Courthouse. Curly Smith trains for Hugh Beatty Jr. Five, goodbye, Barney. Oh, by Clyde McNabb of Germantown. Jeff McNabb trains and drives. The six horse, Southampton Rebel, owned, trained, and driven by Justin Hall of Chillicothe. Seven, Deputy Workman, owned, trained, and driven by Richard Shively of Hamilton. The eight, Lunda Penny. Oh, by Lowell Prickett of Wilmington. Tom Prickett trains and drives. And number nine, Max Prince. Least and trained by Ron Barker of Chillicothe, Rick Jordan in the Sulky. Win play show perfecta, super effective wagering, eight minutes until post, eight minutes. Ninth race, Stallions and Gildings. In behind the gate, on the back stretch, and approaching the start. Handed, they're off, and it's Volunteer George, the first to leave, alongside its second, Crown Time Rocky. Park and Mark trying to do that on the inside. He's third, and Southampton Rebel gets away for it. Kenny Brook looking to drop in five of the rail and racing a sixth. It's good by Barney. Moving to the outside, seventh, Max Prince. Shuffled early, eighth, Deputy Workman, the trailer ninth, Linda Penny. Reaching the first quarter mile mark, right on the front with a lead. It's the 7-2 Volunteer George at the opening quarter in 29-1. Coming through the stretch, and here comes Southampton Rebel, and he moves briskly to the front. Southampton Rebel quickly takes charge. Volunteer George lets him go to the inside. Crown Time Rocky is a patient third. Max Prince moving first up on the outside is fourth. Park and Mark at the middle is fifth. And to the outside is sixth with cover now. Comes good by Barney. Kenny Brook at the middle is seventh. Two lengths and eighth to Deputy Workman of the trailer is Linda Penny. The half, 59 seconds. To the back stretch they go, and it's Southampton Rebel showing the way here. And he leads by two. Volunteer George of the inside is second, three wide. Here comes good by Barney. Between horses, Max Prince now showing some life as they fire down the back stretch. Southampton Rebel under attack. Good by Barney. Three wide to the outside. At the rail is Volunteer George. Max Prince now with cover to the outside is racing fourth. Crown Time Rocky is fifth. Three quarters. One, 28 and three. Around the final turn and on the outside. Good by Barney. Puts a nose in front. But it's a game, a second for Southampton Rebel, who's still there with the inside. And Volunteer George at the rail, poised to strike now, lost center and eighth. And down the stretch they come. And on the front, it's goodbye, Barney to the inside. Southampton Rebel and Volunteer George using the inside lane. Southampton Rebel coming back here, takes it by a length and a quarter. Over goodbye, Barney, and to Volunteer George. And the ninth is now official. Six five perfecta thirty nine dollars sixty cents thirty nine sixty. Six five four eight superfecta one thousand seven hundred sixty one dollars sixty cents. Seventeen sixty one sixty. Trackside, the end of the winner's circle. Official winner of the ninth, number six, Southampton Rebel. Seven-year-old son of Major Menace from the strikeout mare, Tarport Michelle. Owned, trained, and nicely hailed tonight by Justin Hall. Southampton Rebel coming through back of the inside in the, at, at the top of the stretch, recording his second one of the uh, season, and that equals his career mark, 158 flat. The order finish, Parker Mark, seven, Crown Time Rocky 5, Kenny Br